Okay, I did promise in an earlier video that it would attend to the issue of writing 1 over the square root of 2 versus writing the square root of 2 over 2. Now, often in trigonometry, you'll go along, you'll get this answer comes up a lot. 1 over the square root of 2. And some people will say, no, no, please don't put square roots on the bottom. Please multiply the top by root 2, the bottom by root 2, and therefore have this as a root 2 over 2. Now, of course, they're the same number. Mathematically, that number is fine. Mathematically, that number is fine. They're both equally good mathematically. So why do people insist on putting the square roots at the top, not have them on the bottom? Well, actually, the reason is a practical one, not from the 21st century. It's actually from the 1800s, 1900s. In fact, even my day, as I was a school kid, because back in my day, when I was in school, these things weren't around in Australia. They came and they hit the schools in Australia about the 1980s, and I was finishing up my high school in the 80s. So I did not have this thing. So if I actually want to know decimal values of numbers, I had to look up what was issued to me. It was like a table of booklets of values. No, a booklet of tables of values. There we go. For example, I have on one page all the square roots to three decimal places, all the cube roots, all the fourth roots, all sine values, all cosine values, all log values, all sorts of values to be looked up here. So here's the thing. If I'm going along and I get an answer like 1 over the square root of 2, and I'm just doing a maths problem, fine, that's the exact answer. But if I needed to go to step, a step further, because this is an actual practical problem, like it was for engineering or building something, I need to know what actual number 1 over root 2 was a, as a decimal so I could actually build the thing, then this is what I'd have to do back in the 1800s, 1900s, or for me, 1970s, is the following. If, hear this, if you need this answer as a decimal, here's what you have to do. First of all, square root of 2, look it up. Look it up in your booklet and you'll see the square root of 2 is about 1.414. All my booklets went to three decimal places, probably good enough, three decimal places. Then to work out 1 divided by the square root of 2, what I'd have to do is then go, all right, 1, here's 1, do, 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 lots of zeros, as many as I need to for accuracy, divided by square root of 2, which is about 1.414, and off I would have to go and do a long division problem. Ugh, look at that. Do you want to do that? No, no one in their right mind wants to do that on pencil and paper. I mean, of course I could do it on that, but they weren't around. Pencil and paper, that's what you're stuck with. So the piece of advice came. If you need to know the answer is a decimal, try rewriting the complicated thing with the square roots on the top, and your practical life on pencil and paper will be easier. Because look, square root of 2 is about 1.414. So I do the square root of 2, about 1.414, divided by 2. If I do this version of it, I see, oh, uh, 14 and 14. Right off the bat, I get about 0 0.707. Bingo! So if I actually need that answer as a decimal, I could do with square roots on the top, life is much easier for, practic for practical paper and pencil work. That became the convention. If you need the answer as a decimal, try rewriting with the square roots on the top and your arithmetic would be so much easier, please do that. But here's the thing, school cricket kind of made that the law, always put the square roots on top, doesn't matter. Always. Even when calculators were invented, the law stayed around, always put the square roots on top. Reason was gone. Actually on a calculator, it's so easy to type in that. In fact, it's just as easy to type in that. They're both equally easy to type in. So the whole reason's gone in for calculators. Um, 80s, always put the squares on top. 90s, put the squares on top. 2000s, always put the squares on top. Crazy. It wasn't until 2010 or so in America they finally said, we don't need to put squares on top. Now, it's good to teach to put squares up or down or bottom, put squares wherever you like. I've got nothing against the teaching the mathematics of moving squares upstairs or downstairs, move them both directions. But for the sake of answers, that is an absolutely fine mathematical answer. If you don't need the decimal, leave it like that. Life is good. Or write like that if you want to, because it's actually good too. If you want the decimal, write it like that. If you want the decimal, write it that way, because decimals will be done with this, this thing nowadays. That's the story. So, as a mathematician, answer can be any correct answer in any form you like. Grand. And um, so I, I suggest you leave your answers in any correct form. That's good. Go for it. That's the scoop.